Hey my fellow fans, today's headline. Meghan Markle might try to monetize Prince Harry's dwindling connections with the book, predicted British politician Anne Whitcomb. Anne predicted the Sussex's moves in 2023 and said that the Suits alum will likely produce a book in the following year. I think they will go on the path that they've now set themselves on. There's a book coming out in the early new year. We know that for a certainty. That will be the next step, Anne said. The question is, how long can they keep going on with this? She wondered. The only thing they've got is their royal connections. They haven't got anything else or any other selling points. If they want to go on maintaining that sort of lifestyle, they're going to have to make money somehow. I reckon that by the end of next year, the capacity to make money on the back of their royal connections will be dwindling significantly. The politician added, the book will probably be the last throw of the dice unless Megan produces a book the following year. That's always possible. But you get to the stage where you say, what more is there for us to give? Meanwhile, experts fear Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have boxed themselves into a scenario and can never shake royal victim image despite owing Netflix a lot more content to justify a multi-million dollar paycheck. Royal journalist Daniela Alsa issued this warning to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. She started by claiming that the couple appear in a bind, especially considering take away their titles, take away their palace ties, take away their claims of royal racism and a callous indifference to their suffering, and is what is left that attractive? A proposition to say Netflix? Bigger picture, the Sussexes would seem to be in something of a bind. Their entire public image and business output too have thus far been founded on their royal refugee status. Understandable, given it was their most valuable commodity. When they arrived in the US and suddenly found the royal money teat had gone dry, including having to pay for their own security. She also pointed out, except more than two years on, it feels a bit like Harry and Meghan have backed themselves into a brand corner. And today, they are not defined in the public imagination by their humanitarian work, but by their willingness to pillory the royal family at times with a large check attached. What a pity, right? Okay guys, royal news done and dusted. Please like, comment and subscribe. Goodbye for now.